In a previous tutorial, we read in some data from Spotify about every song by the rock band Iron Maiden, and we stored these data in a tibble called Edify. And within Edify, there's a variable called Energy, which is Spotify's metric of how energetic a song is from zero, not at all, to one, very. And in this tutorial, we're going to use these data to revisit functions and specifically calculate the average energy level of Iron Maiden songs. Within our edify object, if we want to access like the scores in one of the variables, if we put this dollar sign in, RStudio gives us a list of all the things within edify. So the dollar sign is like saying, you know, inside. So it's, it's so it's like the edify data set within which I want to look at, and then you can pick a variable. So let's say uh, we went for energy. So what this bit of code means is the variable energy within the data frame or tibble called edify. Uh, if we just execute that, you basically get a load of numbers. You get all the scores from the energy variable. You don't get anything else from, from the, the data. You just get the scores in that column. So that's one way to access them. So let's use this to have a look again at, uh, at functions. So let's say we wanted to work out the average energy levels of an Iron Maiden song. We could use a function called the mean, which is built into R. We don't need to install any packages to access it. And it basically takes three inputs. Uh, one of them is the name of a variable or uh, the name of something containing a set of scores that you want the mean of. And it also has two arguments, or you can think of them as options. One is uh, called na.rm, and that relates to whether or not you remove missing values. So the rm stands for remove. Uh, and by default, that's set to false. It says don't remove them. Um, but it will throw, it throws an error if you have any. Um, and the second option is whether you want to trim the, or the, the degree to which you want to trim the data. And by default, that is set to zero. So again, you can think of this like a dialog box where you might specify a variable uh, so you know if you imagine some other software you might be used to for, for doing data analysis you might sort of grab a variable that you want to do uh, calculate the mean of and then imagine there being sort of two I don't know like check boxes or something so one of them is a checkbox for removing missing values so if you tick the checkbox it means you do want to remove them so that's like setting uh, NA remove to, to true so ticking the box like, yes, remove them. Uh, and leaving the box unchecked is the default. It's like saying, no, don't bother removing them. Uh, and you can imagine another, um, I don't know, checkbox or uh, text entry box where you can say, oh yeah, I want to trim the mean by a certain, or I want to trim the data by a certain amount and you enter a value into that. And that's like setting the trim option. So by default, it'll be zero, no trim. But if you were to, so sort of tick that box to activate uh, a space where you could type in an amount of trim that you want to do and then whatever you type in that box gets set as the the level of trim so when you click on okay it's like the the check boxes in your dialog box gets tra get translated into commands so the check box for removing missing values gets translated as either true or false, depending on whether you ticked it or not. The level of trim gets set as zero or whatever value you set it as, if you set it as a different one. So again, this idea that we can map functions onto dialog boxes, uh, at first when you're unfamiliar with uh, working with functions rather than dialog boxes can be quite useful. So effectively, when we use this command, we, uh, we put in some scores, the scores that we want the mean of, and then we can set two options. So let's try that out. So we we worked out how to, to get hold of our energy scores. So if we put these within the function mean, so I put brackets around them and then mean at the outside, this is going to return the mean of the energy scores. 
which is 0.89. It's pretty high. So this is uh, the scores can range from zero, which I think is not very energetic at all, to one, which is incredibly energetic. So this tells you on average, Iron Maiden songs are very energetic, which is not surprising because uh, I suspect this variable is based on the tempo of the song or the beats per minute and Iron Maiden songs tend, tend to be pretty pacey. Now notice that I didn't, in, in this function, I didn't include NARM equals false and I didn't include trim equals zero. If I had done, I would have got exactly the same results because uh, if you don't include these options, then they will just be, uh, you know, you will just use the defaults. In the case here, the, the default is uh, false for NA remove and zero for trim. If we were, however, to say, oh, well, let's trim some of the scores. Let's trim some of the extreme scores. Let's trim, say, the top and bottom 10% of scores. Then you see we get a different answer. So we've sort of adjusted one of the options and we get a slightly different answer. Again, if we maybe wanted to store this, I mean, maybe we just want to see it. I mean, if we uh, rendered our document right now, that piece of code will, long old table here, uh, that bit of code will just get executed and give us a value. But maybe if we want to use that value later, we might want to save it. So, oh, let's call it. Energy underscore av for average. So we could, if we like, save that value and also display it. 